Welcome to another episode of Class Haven Farm. So what are we doing today? Well, today we're splitting some cedar wood that we got for our fire pit. But while I'm doing this, I took a break. I thought maybe I'd do a uh, almost a two year review on this next gen carry on trailer. So as you know, those of you that follow my channel, this trailer video here that I originally did with a side by side comparison is probably my most watched video. And I thought I would go ahead and do a review since it's almost at two years of me having this trailer. So stay tuned. So this trailer is made by the carry-on company. It's their five by eight next gen trailer. Uh, this trailer you can find at places like Lowe's, Tractor Supply, um, and even through, through carry-on dealers that you might have in your area. The way that I got started even getting this trailer is originally uh, about three, four years ago, I bought a uh, five by eight trailer from Tractor Supply. It was made by carry-on. And it was the model previous to this one. And one day I was going out to go get a load of oak firewood and I thought, you know what? I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that would like to see a review on this trailer and maybe I'll just run, run it through. It was really one of my first videos that really took off on this channel. So I did a video on it. You know, if you go back, I'll put, I'll link a description or I mean, I'll link it up here at the top and I'll put a link in the description for it. But um, I, I went out there, I cut up some oak firewood at a buddy's house and, you know, I just gave it an honest review. You know, I, I'm not using it for commercial purposes. I'm just a guy that, you know, on the weekends, I go out and get some firewood and things like that. And, you know, at the time, uh, my, my then wife, you know, we bought this trailer, the five by eight trailer. I, I would have liked to have gotten a bigger one, maybe a six by 10 or something like that. But we got this one because she didn't feel comfortable backing it up and things like that. So she wanted something that was somewhat lightweight. She could pick up and move around. Um, and for, for your average run of the mill person, that's that's who I figured would be interested in this trailer. And that's exactly what happened. That video blew up, a lot of views, a lot of people interested in it. And as a result of that, um, about two years ago in April, uh, Gary Holbrook from the Carry On Company contacted me directly and said, listen, we really like the review that you did. It was an honest review. We're revamping that trailer and we're coming out with something called the Next Gen Trailer. And we would love to link up with you and get this trailer out to you so you can do uh, some videos on it. Just give us your honest opinion. And so that's what happened. Uh, almost uh, two years ago, uh, end of April, I took delivery of this trailer from Gary. He came down to my old house and delivered this to me. And uh, if you remember, and I'll link, I'll put a, a clip up here at the top for that video, but I did a side-by-side -side comparison of the original one I bought and this one. Now, going back, the original one that I bought between um, just the sales price, because it was like $150 off, I got that trailer for just over $600, okay? Now, mind you, that was 2020, maybe maybe late 2019, somewhere in there. So that was back before the way our economy is now. And when I came out with the comparison video with this trailer and that one, I caught a lot of flack from people because they were like, well, there's no way that trailer is that cheap. Well, guys, you just gotta remember, you know, prior to the whole COVID thing, we actually, Stuff was affordable. It wasn't crazy like it is now. Um, but to get back onto this trailer, I have put this trailer through some work. I've had big rounds in the back of it. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I lost the original trailer through the divorce. So I don't have that trailer anymore. Obviously, while I'm living in a whole new place and got a whole new thing going on. Um, so this trailer was my main workhorse. This is what moved me out of my old house and into different places that I had to live at before I bought this place. Uh, so this trailer, if it wasn't for this trailer, I don't know, it moved all my stuff, literally, between this and my truck, uh, and it, it moved everything I needed to move. But not only that, I have put this thing through some work. Big wood rounds, um, you know, loading four wheelers, uh, loading riding mowers. I do have a zero turn, 
but it has a 62 inch deck on it so obviously it would not fit on this but this thing I, I haven't been afraid of this thing one time it pulls great i've never had any issues with it it's held up so i'm going to go ahead and walk you guys around it show you the paint on it and things like that i'm going to show you all the things that i really like on it and then we're going to touch on some of the things that now that i've had it for two years that when i did that side by side comparison i hadn't used it enough to really see some of the issues um they're not major issues overall i've been really happy with this trailer it's served its purpose it's done everything i needed to do so i'll walk you guys around show you all the pros and then we'll talk about some of the cons all right pros paint the paint is holding up fine on this there's i mean you can still see it's got shine to it i've never washed it i've never done anything to it now i will say this i did have over here where the fender is it's got a little bit of rust because I had a bush hog on there and because it was so big and when I sat it down and caught this um, and I just let it, I just wanted to see what it was going to look like. So I left it alone. Now, if I put some paint on it right away, it probably wouldn't have had a problem. But besides little things like this, I mean, you can see this fender still has a shine to it. It's still got a good finish to it. The boards have held up. They're not cracked um they don't have any holes in them they're still tight even though they were nailed through you know they weren't they weren't um screws weren't put through there but it's still held up all the lights are still working no problems or issues with any of the lights so as far as all that stuff goes no problems no issues right wheels and tires haven't had any issues with them you know, I would go through and just check the lug nuts periodically. I'd even check some of the U-bolts here underneath, right? Nothing came loose, nothing backed out. Um, I know some people had complained about that stuff. And guys, you just got to remember this. When you're using stuff like this and it's going up and down the road, periodically, you just got to go and double check that stuff. I know I had a 42-foot camper before I sold it. And, you know... I would take that thing down to Disney World. You have to go through this stuff and check it before you can't just always think that, well, they tightened, they should have tightened it at the factory. You gotta remember these trailers go up and down the road and they're bouncing and they're moving and things can happen. So as far as that, perfect. Um, I like that it has a two inch ball. You know, the other one had an inch and seven eighths and I just like it that two because like my log splitter, that has a two inch ball on it. Most everything that I have has a two inch ball and to be perfectly honest with you with all the newer stuff that's coming out, they put two inches on everything. So nice that it was that the one, well, I guess I'm trying to think if there was anything else off the top of my head that I didn't really go over the trailer. I mean, everything else, it, it's a trailer. It's a five by eight trailer. I, I had some people like, oh, they're junk and they're this and you should have got this kind of trailer. Yes, some of those other trailers they were talking about, they are a nice trailer. But at the time when I bought the original one, not this one, but when I bought the original one, it was $600. Like I'm buying a $600 trailer. Now I will say, I think when they came out with this one, it was a little bit more expensive. I can't remember the prices. It might've been like $1,100, $1,200 with the wood floor. Might've been $900 or $1,000 without the wood floor. Um, now I will say this one, in my opinion, is way better quality than the original one. So anytime you start getting better quality products, you're going to pay more. So some of the trailers that are five by eight that are fourteen, fifteen hundred dollar trailers, of course they're going to be better than this one. They cost more, you know. But like I said, I'm not using it in a commercial commercial aspect. I'm just a guy that uses it on the weekends maybe monday through friday if i have something going on and i need to move something other than that I, i'm not i'm not looking it's not going to a car show it's a trailer i mean you see what's in the bed of it right now inside of it is cedar wood that i'm literally going to hook up to the back of the tractor and move up there and stack so we can have some wood for the fire pit later this summer all right so let's go ahead and go over some of the negative things that i came across as i've had this We'll start here at the front. So one big negative, at least for me, pulling it with my Duramax. The electrical plug is very, very short. So before I would plug this in, and if 
I took a tight turn or anything, I might have to worry about it actually popping out. So the only thing that I did was I bought one of those expandable connectors that it, that goes from this um, four blade into a seven blade that goes in, but it's it's got the extension to it. So um, I will say if you go to Tractor Supply and or go to Lowe's and buy this thing, depending on your vehicle, I mean, just because of my Duramax, it sat up a little bit higher and the way my, my drop down hitch was. Uh, but a simple fix for that is just buying one of those extension pieces. All right, so that was a negative, right? All right, sorry. A little jumpy there trying to work this thing. All right, the other negative, which was something that I talked about in the original side-by-side -side comparison, and it was the same thing for the original trailer, just the tag bracket being here. Now, I will say this was a much better design, as I said in the original side-by-side -side comparison with this thing being metal it wasn't that plastic and things like that but it's still low now obviously you can take your tag and put it here and you see people do that okay so here's what i'm going to say when you do that technically through any transportation article or anything that's out there there it's supposed to be illuminated the tag's supposed to always be illuminated right so if you put it up here there's no light to it you leave yourself to get open to get pulled over. Uh, the other part of that is when it's up here, it could get knocked over. You could, if you use zip ties on there and that thing falls off, now your tag falls off. But again, you would be in the same boat here if something happened and this little metal tab got broken and then it popped off. So again, you do what you feel you need to do. You could do that. One of the things that I did not think about, and especially for me, and I'm going to go ahead and get you guys set up so I can kind of show you this a little bit more in depth. Okay, this is one for me that when I did that side-by-side -side video, I didn't really think about it because I hadn't used it enough to really pay attention to it. But if you look here, you have this cross brace here, this one, you could use another one here in the middle. So if we had one here in the middle, that does a couple different things. I like to use my hand truck to pick up big rounds of wood and load up into the trailer, right? So without that being there, I can still do it, but like when I take this hand truck and I have a round on it and I'm walking up this trailer with it, I catch one wheel on this cross brace, but I don't have one here. The original trailer that <clears throat> I used to own had that this one doesn't have it and i actually had if you go back and look at that side by side comparison there was a viewer in there that left that comment that they didn't put that back in there so that could also affect you if you were looking at this for a motorcycle or anything like that it would be nice to have that in there so again it's not a deal breaker it's you can still load wood in here i've load big rounds and things like that but I did like that feature in the original one, just having that other support brace going through there. So that was definitely one of the pros that I noticed, but I only noticed it after having this trailer for the period of time and using it the way that I have. Other than that, there's not a whole lot to complain about with this trailer. Now, I will say this, between the Lowe's that is near me and the tractor supply that's in near me, I haven't seen any next gen trailers there in a while, so I don't know if they just stopped using them. Um, I don't know if they switched brand or switched the model that they're using. So I will say that's not there anymore. But looking over all of those things, I really don't have a lot to say bad about this trailer. It's been a good trailer. It's held up for me. I mean, we're we're at the two year mark, and I, I haven't had any issues with it. Just like I said, that main that support brace really is probably the biggest thing for me because the, the tag bracket to me is really not that big of a deal. I think they, they did a good job. So I don't know. You know, like I said, there's a, there was a lot of people. And they still, they'll leave comments, and they're kind of nasty about it. Oh, it's junk. It's this, it's that. Again, it's all on what you're looking to do with it. I mean, if you want to spend $1,800 on a trailer that, you're going to use 10 times a year. I mean, you, you do what you want. It's your money. It doesn't bother me. Uh, but for a guy like me, 
this little five by eight trailer from that I picked up from Tractor Supply, I mean, it's it's done it's done just fine. I mean, the original one that I had, uh, the ex still uses it. You know, she's taking four wheelers down around Thanksgiving to her parents' place, and it looked fine to me when I met up with her to swap kids out. It's still holding up fine. She's still using it. There's no problems. There's no issues with it. So again, it's all in what you guys are looking for. You know, research. Use videos like this. Don't just go off of what I'm saying. Go and watch other people, you know, and then make that decision for yourself. Looking back on the original trailer for $600, I would buy it again. I mean, I think if we had a time machine and we could go back, I probably would have bought 15 of those trailers and then just had them sitting there. And then when all the prices went up to $1,500 for the same trailer all these years later, he <laughs> could have made some money on it. So, um, you know, I just thought I would do this video. Uh, it's like I said, the, the trailer videos are really what kind of helped me. Um, you know, so if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, keep following us along. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on. I'll kind of show you this bottom field. I mean, eventually this bottom field, I hope to uh, build that egg mobile and get the chicks down there in the bottom and start working them up around the bottom of this pasture field. You know, there's a, it's kind of the cool thing that I'm on with this journey, with this new property. Uh, it was really a shame we're uh, getting into the end of February and we haven't had any rain, or I'm sorry, we haven't had any snow to where the kids could go sledding on this hill. This is a nice monster hill. And uh, <laughs> I got to show you guys this. So uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's Ethel. So Ethel, uh, Ethel and our rooster, Larry, look, she's running because she knows I'm coming up to her. So Ethel got out. Let me see if I can zoom in. It won't let me zoom in. But Ethel got out. Uh, I had to move Ethel in with the goats because our rooster, Larry, is just being so nasty to her. You can see the back of her head is gashed wide open. Um, I had to move her out of there because I was afraid Larry was going was gonna to kill her. Come here, Eth. Let me see. She'll usually come to me. Come here, Eth. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> come here, girl. You're not supposed to get out. So she's in, been in the uh, goat, in with the goats, but that uh, netting is uh, is not ethyl proof. So it's goat netting. Um, let's see if I can show you guys this. Of course, the wind's coming up. Well, you guys might not be able to see that, but Larry has just been gashing the back of her head. He's so mean to her. And Ethel's Ethel's my girl, as you can see. She comes right up to me. So, uh, yeah, so still got Ethel. Here she is. Little Miss Curious George, always getting out. Got old videos of her sneaking out of the old fence. That was a whole reason why we got the Premier Coop netting, because of good old Ethel. But uh, <laughs> here, I'll put you down. Peck around, but you're going back in with those goats, girls. It's gonna start getting dark here soon. Uh, you know, like I said, make sure you like, subscribe, follow us along, and you can watch more videos of Ethel jumping out. So, as always, I'll see you on the next one.